Hello, welcome back to Claire de Lune from Scratch. We're going to continue our lesson on the art of pedaling and using the pedal to help you connect your notes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, I'm going to draw out the indications as to where I apply the pedal line by line in the first page of Claire de Lune. I'm going to go through this very slowly. Okay, first of all, uh, there's one way of notating the pedal is simply with either a P, for, that represents pushing the pedal down, and then a star that represents the pedal coming up, okay? Or sometimes they actually write out head, and as, soon as, you, as long as you see that note, you hold it until you see the next star, and that lifts the pedal, okay? I'm not gonna do that. I'm actually gonna go ahead and draw another graphical notation, and that does this, okay? It makes it a little bit easier to really see. When I draw the line down, that pushes the pedal down, and as long as I draw this horizontal line, that'll sustain the pedal. Now, when I draw the next line going up like that, that will make it indicate a change. I'm going to change here, change here, okay, and then change, change. I'm going to hold this through, okay. So the first line looks like this. I'm going to push the pedal down first because that's going to open up my piano like a sound chamber. Hello in there! Hear the echo? Okay. So. Push the pedal down, hold it, and it's going to look like this. One. And now I'm going to wait until I push this note, next note down to lift the pedal and then come back down afterwards. Okay? So think of the words up, down. The emphasis being on up, down. Ready? Up. Ready? Up, down. Up, down. See? The down comes after my hand comes down. So I'm sustaining. Ready? And up, down. Up, down. Okay, let's go to the next page and go ahead and draw. This is continuing from the previous up, down here, up, down here. Okay, up, down, up, down, up, down. Just gonna go ahead and do this quickly. Uh, let me just erase a little bit of that. So, I'm sorry. Up, down, up, down. Okay, up, down, up, down, up, down. Okay. Then up, down, up, down, up, down. Now here, I'm going to hold, change the pedal and then hold it through the whole measure. Change the pedal at the beginning of the line and hold it through. Change the pedal at the beginning of the line again here. Hold it all the way through. Continue that. Okay. Change. Okay. So I'm really holding this pedal down much longer in these last few measures. Okay. Main reason for that is I want to have the bottom notes, which are long, to have a chance to sustain through. And a lot of the harmonies just work together. You don't need to clear the sound to change the harmonies. Okay. By the way, you may be interested to know that I, I, I you can see I use a lot of technology when I teach, and for very good reason. Um, I, I found that I find that the technology has really transformed the way I teach and the way I play. Uh, I'm using a couple of really interesting technologies, of course, Home Concert Extreme to help illustrate the piano and the notes that are going to be played. It's going to be a little clearer to see, I think, than, than the other program. Um, I'm using this Wacom Bamboo tablet to draw and indicate, but I'm also going to be reading the music, of course, digitally, and I turn the pages with a device called an air turn. An air turn is a wireless page turning transmitter that allows me to use my foot um, I'll, I'll kind of bring it out a little bit later on. I'll show you more in detail how that works. But I'm basically using my left foot to push a little pedal that's connected to a wireless transmitter. And by doing that, I don't have to lift up and turn the pages with my hand. So I can really just focus on playing and not have the distractions of page turns. This really works very nicely. So I'm going to use the air turn as I turn the pages so that we can seamlessly see how the pedaling works. So here we go. From the beginning, very, very slowly, I'm going to walk you through how I pedal the first page of Claire de Lune. Pedal down to start, and then one. And then as soon as my hand comes down, up, down. Emphasis being the word up. Up, down. Up, down. See that? with my left foot on my air turn, up, down, up, down. Okay, see how that works? Now I'm going to move my hand in position here, but the pedal's helping me to connect, up, down. Clean up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Okay, move my hand in position, up, down.
position up down now notice i'm holding my pedal until i play the next note i don't lift my pedal ahead of time okay and up down holding it through this measure change it up down and up down So I'll come back to more pedaling techniques as we go through uh, larger portions of these. We'll go back and kind of I'll show you where the pedaling is um, after we kind of get the notes learned. Okay, so I hope this new program and some of the things that I'm showing you help you understand better how to apply your pedal to clair de lune. It's a very basic technique. If you can just correct when you lift your foot and coordinate it so that your foot lifts as your hand plays, that's really the key. And then your foot comes out after your hand plays. That's really the key to getting really an excellent legato and a great connection with really very little tension or stress. So I hope that helps, and I'll see you at the next lesson.